This iPhone 14 Pro Max came from Indiana with no image after shutting off overseas while the customer was attending a wedding. Multiple shops, even Apple, said no repair. Insurance gave her a new phone, but with all her wedding pictures stuck inside, she sent it to us as a last resort. The first thing we did was remove the display. Under the microscope, we checked the display connector using the multimeter in diode mode. We then opened our board view software and compared the expected diode readings to those on the motherboard. Each pin measured correctly until we reached pin 5, which gave us a reading of 0 instead of the expected 522 millivolts. 0 confirmed a short circuit. Checking the schematic, we saw that pin 5 is labeled PP6V8 Display A VDDH. Tracing the line in the board view showed that this rail is generated by U9400, which provides power to the screen and filtered by a group of capacitors. If any one of them is shorted, the entire rail goes down. We started with capacitor C, 11,850 near the connector. It was covered in epoxy, so we removed it using heat. We set the power supply to 2 volts per 2 amps and injected voltage while applying freezer spray, but there was no reaction. Next, we moved to another section of the board where two capacitors were hidden under a metal shield. Removing the entire shield with heat was too risky, so instead we used a Dremel to make a small, precise cut, exposing C9412 and C9413. We first applied freezer spray, then injected voltage, but still there was no reaction. At this point, we knew the short had to be on the other side of the motherboard, so we used the preheater to separate the two layers. We repeated the process by applying freezer spray over the U9400 display IC and injecting voltage directly at capacitor C9414, but nothing showed any heat. That left capacitor C9414 as the only remaining suspect. To be certain, we flipped the board back to the cut section, soldered a jumper wire from C9413 to an external metal shield, applied freezer spray, and injected voltage through the jumper. This time, C9414 began to heat up, confirming it as the faulty component. We removed C9414, replaced it with a new capacitor and retested. The short was gone. With the fault cleared, we reballed and reflowed the two motherboard layers, aligned them carefully on the preheater, and reassembled the phone. And there it is, iPhone 14 Pro Max fixed and back to life. At Cell Phone Repair Academy, we repair devices and train students to do the same.